Okay, so if you are someone who has ordered a radio from me, a pre-programmed radio from CitizenSurvivalPlan.com, this is just a quick demo on what to do when you get it. Now, it's going to come just like it does from Baofeng or any other radio manufacturer. The only difference is when you power this thing up, it is going to be all programmed. You're going to see channels in here. Now, when anything is labeled WX, there's always 10 weather channels. You're just going to have to find the one that transmits in your area. You'll hear weather come over the NOAA broadcast, and it's going to be marked WX. Now, the first 22 channels in your radio is going to be labeled GMRS 1 to 22. Now, what this is, are these are simplex channels... And you, and if someone else had a radio and they were on GMRS and or FRS, GMR and FRS channels 1 to 22 are the same. They are the same frequency. You can talk to little walkie-talkies or anything else between this radio and an FRS and or GMRS radio. MERS is in here. This is five channels of VHF frequencies. Same thing as GMRS. It is just going to be five channels and that's a VHF frequency. So it's going to work a little bit better outside. It's not going to be able to penetrate buildings as good, but it is five channels of license free transmitting. Now moving on up here to this one is programmed for New York City. So you're going to see some kind of just New York stuff in here probably, but anything with a G on it is going to be GMRS. One thing I just want to show you inside the menus here is this is your power. And whenever you go into menu and click this, you can change it for high, middle, or low. Let me click that one more time. It's usually going to come on middle. Um, that's usually just how I set them up. But you can choose your power level. Now that is transmit power only. It has nothing to do with what you receive. This is transmit only. This is a setting I want to talk about really quick. It's called TDR. And on the new radios that I send out, I turn this on, actually. Um, if you've ordered a really early radio from me, it might not be set up for dual watch. But you could just turn it on or off. And what this does is, let's say I'm listening to this GMRS repeater here. And I am listening to a simplex channel, GMRS 22, like I got a buddy down the road or something, and he's on that simplex channel, you know, just radio to radio. It is going to listen to both these channels simultaneously. So if you get a transmission from your friend down the street on this channel, channel 22, it'll listen and you'll hear it. Or if that repeater goes off, that GMRS repeater, you will hear that too. It's just going to be listening to two channels at once. Early on, I thought it would confuse people, but I don't think it does. So it comes on, but if it's confusing you, you can always just turn it right off. So as stated before, everything marked with a G is GMRS. That is all the GMRS repeaters. Those are the repeater towers in your area. It's all going to be set up for you to listen to that and or transmit. Now we're moving on into H. H means this is a ham repeater. These are all ham repeaters. They are radio towers in your area that I've programmed in for you, and you can listen to them. And if you get your ham license, which is a little bit more difficult than purchasing a GMRS license, you take a test and pay a $35 fee. You got to study for a while, but you would be legal to transmit on these ham bands if you purchased and took the test for your ham license. And this is going to be marked E in your radio. Anything marked E is emergency services or government or fire. This looks like fire ground. Um, so there's emergency dispatch. Um, it's going to be all kinds of different stuff. You're going to hear a lot of government frequencies that you are not allowed to transmit on. Now, don't worry. These radios will not transmit on emergency services. I program them, so they will just beep at you. It will not work. No matter what you do, it will not work. The only way for you to change that is if you hook this up to Chirp and you change the internal programming of this radio. I could do that on anything marked E. It will never transmit, so you don't have to worry about getting a fine. 
but I would probably just not press the push to talk button on these emergency service channels just because you're not supposed to be transmitting there. These boxes are typically going to come with two antennas. Um, the best one to do is the one marked 136, 174 or 400 to 520. This is typically going to be the antenna where you're going to want to use. This is a 220 antenna, the shorter rubber one. Now, this is subject to change. Baofeng changes the antennas and stuff that comes in these boxes all the time. But typically, you want to use the one that's going to be marked, you know, 130 to 175 or 400 to 520. That's the one you're going to want to hook up to your radio. That's, that's typically what you're going to be listening to. Now, I do program some 220 repeaters in here, but for listening purposes... It's not going to be a problem. You should pick them up just fine. One last thing I want to add before I close this video out is all the radios that I sell will come with the manufacturer's um, manual in that. And I also have a video that I'm going to link here. And it just tells you all the settings that your radio does. It gives you every menu option and a description of what that setting does. The manual is here, though, in case you need to look at it but I do believe the video that I did is going to be a little bit more helpful. Thanks for watching and thanks for ordering a radio from me. It really helps me and the channel out. I try and provide a service to people that just want to get radio that do not want to become radio nerds. And I think it is helpful. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.